Hello there! As you all know, every character is nothing without a world to reside in. In this episode, we will tell you more about this amazing piggy universe. Enjoy! <laughs> How the character scenes came to be. Uh, that came from Frederick, actually. Um, the first versions of Bar PG and uh, the initial Bar P prototype had the characters individually drawn. Uh, Frederick was the one who came up with the thematic of a tavern scene, the logo being the tavern sign and the tavern itself being occupied by the various characters, all together lined up, interacting with each other. If you look at the original lineup of the characters, for instance, the Pale Elden is eyeing a princess, you know, is this really who she seems? You know, the glass assassins in the corner looking it all over and uh, the drum monks laughing a little bit, the wiser does he does not manage to pour his drink correctly. So th those little interaction keys, they kind of really breathe life in the characters. And even if you do see the character by itself, the fact that the character does have an element of interaction outside of the frame of the card, it gives it so much more life. That's how that started. The challenge for the environment of the Grand Festival was to officially connect them all together. So through the window, you can see the bar where the first game takes place. And on the left side, there is a little sneak peek at the alleyway of After Hours. That final character lineup scene, that scene together, that sketch with the tavern foreground behind the characters and the characters getting a confetti in the air. I, my heart missed the beat. I loved it and it was just, a very good sign of the cooperation and symbiosis we've had. But I think the game achieves this effect of bringing friends together and creating fun sim visually because the characters themselves are fun and they themselves are flawed and you notice it, that, that entire effect of you can see the characters having fun in the environment they are. They're smiling, they're being cheeky, they're challenging each other a little bit, you know, they're eyeing each other up and down. And if you see that on the medium in front of you, you start to get that sense and you reflect it as well in your gameplay. And I think that's achieved very well by the visual work Frederick has delivered. The environment is always designed to give a sense of that there's more beyond the frame. In the bar, there are these suggestions of heraldic families or clans on the walls. The returning holy flask symbology that you see on various characters as if they are being part of some sort of holy order. The posters in the alleyway that suggest at shops or different events taking place somewhere else in the Barpic universe. There is an entire Barpic universe out there and uh, we've spoken to Frederick many times about this. It's also a bit the dream to actually maybe one day make an illustrated Book, although I, I know he's going to kill me if I ask him for it because the amount of work it involves for our future plan. But I would love to do the lore, the story of Bar Pig. And we've bounced ideas back and forth several times about this. Yeah, there, there's a room for it. Of course there is. There's so much creativity there. There's so many stories. And it'd be nice to also involve our fans' feedback in that. What this has done for the fans and you know their journeys and their fun of the game. To be able to tie that back in as well, that'd be amazing. Not right now, we're hands kind of full. <laughs> the Kickstarter should be launching on September 29th, Thursday. That's the launch date we have in mind. Uh, and that's when it starts five weeks of my life being crazy. <laughs>